Welcome back to my channel in today's video I'm gonna be basically talking to you guys about what's going on with me I haven't been you know Shauna hasn't been available it's been Miss Daisy we have Sean we ain't really get to talk to Shauna so I kind of want to just catch up with you guys and let you guys know where I am if you're interested in this video don't forget to subscribe hit that post notification bell let's get into the video my water oh my god guys i've been drinking like out of these metal straws <laughs> amazon not sponsored your girl trying to hook you up so hold up mm. so hi guys oh my god i feel like i haven't spoken to you guys in a while the last video i like did a sit down i think it was just like a positive video and like mindset Today I'm just going to be focusing on what's been going on with me. So basically, it's been a lot that has been going on. Obviously, the corona. I feel like we're kind of pretty much used to that right now. Almost going to be seven months, I think. Let me see. March, April, May, June, July, August, September. Seven months. About to be seven months of the coronavirus. And we're kind of getting used to that. I know it's a lot going on in the world. And everyone has their own little situations. For me, it has been a lot as well i'm sure you're going to do something similar or there's just we all have our struggles and i acknowledge that and i'm just going to be focusing on what's been going on i feel like i just said that like 20 times yeah <laughs> so recently my grandmother she passed away it's just been such a hard thing for me and my family you know especially when it's someone so close to you it's definitely hard to deal with it you know the death and for me, what I noticed is something that I would do is just keep making my videos. Even when there's something happening in my life, I kind of try to use my videos and my acting and my skits to kind of disappear from reality. And I don't think that's healthy. Um, I want to be transparent with you guys. And I, because of me doing that and just keep on going and not really stepping away from the camera and being involved with reality experiencing the pain the the emotions that i was feeling i didn't get to do that until like later on it hit me and i was like whoa like this is very sad you know so i i encourage everyone like if you are going through something in your life take a break like take <laughs> girl can you talk if you are all dealing with something in your life definitely take a break from what you're doing and deal with your emotions because in the long run you're gonna have to deal with it and it's gonna be a little bit more tough so um, that's something that I've learned so I was kind of dealing with that and then there's something else that happened I found out last week that I have to move <laughs> so it's been a little bit of a situation in my apartment and I don't want to kind of touch too much on that because I'm still here and I'm leaving soon without a choice but I am very grateful for the situation because I've always wanted to move for such a long time. I've been living here for a while now. And, you know, when you live with other people, you kind of have to deal with their stuff. And kind of want to talk about that and just like being aware of your surroundings. I feel like your home should be your safe place. Um, if you are a believer, you should only have, you know, things that are of God. So it's just like being fully aware and careful where you're living who you're living with because you never know what could happen and I feel like in New York this happens a lot a lot of us have roommates and when you live with people that you don't know you're gonna have to deal with so much stuff you can be doing everything correct and because of the people that you live with they can mess it up so it's just like being fully aware of your surroundings and um, in this situation I'm super grateful um, I feel like Yes, I didn't really have the choice to leave right now, but I believe that God has me and will never forsake me according to his word. And I'm going to be fine. Um, I just naturally as a human being, when you go through situations in your life, you kind of just stress. You kind of feel like, but what do I do? It's just kind of unexpected. But then this kind of brought me to a point in my life where I remember when I got fired from my job and I hated that job so much and god literally took me out and provided me with something else 
and I feel like it's the same situation in my house. I hate living here. Beautiful home. And I feel like sometimes the people that you live with can mess it up, like I mentioned before. So I just felt so uneasy here. And God knew this, and I knew that I was supposed to leave a long time ago. But God, you know, he has his ways. If you don't obey or, you know, follow his direction, he's just going to go ahead and take you out because he loves you that much. So I actually forgot to mention this part. Um, so I actually, God showed me in my dream that this apartment was burning. Like, I didn't understand why. Like, I had so many dreams. And it was just like, this place was on fire. It was multiple, countless amount of dreams where it was just burning. And I was like, why is my apartment keep burning? Like, it actually made me paranoid. I was like, is this house gonna burn down or something? But he was showing me like, this place is not good. Like, there's something wrong with this place. And he showed me this in the dream. And then now when this situation is happening, it makes all, it all makes sense. Like, why I'm moving out and how it's kind of like not my choice. And that's how you know God is in control. So another part is like my roommate, she also had the same dream. It was similar. It wasn't fire, but it showed that this apartment was like, breaking down into pieces and it was just me and her at the end so it was just kind of like interesting how god kind of shows you like things and that's why you should really pay attention to your dreams he speaks to you he is real jesus is real and i just want to put that part in there resume the video i'm gonna be leaving at the end of this month of well october 1st is when i'll be leaving so if you guys see things that are kind of different in my room is because i am leaving I'm still in the process of looking for an apartment. Um, if you guys want to put you on that journey, like when I'm like moving and stuff, let me know. But um, it's just been like a lot, especially in a short period of time. It has been so much going on. And I feel like one thing that a lot of influencers or YouTubers we struggle with, people who are just in the media, well, the face of social media, it's really challenging. I would say like one of the biggest challenges is going through stuff in your personal life and putting that aside and like being a face of a cam on the camera like when you're sad when you're like something happened like it's such a challenge to have to keep going because your face is what's being seen your attitude people can sense there's something wrong there's a their vibe is off so i i could say that's one of my biggest challenges is continuing to to go i'm gonna obviously i believe in myself so much that i know that i'm capable of doing so much and getting so far so i definitely want to encourage you guys that if you're going through something keep on going but like i said before take a break it's okay to take a step back and focus on you um the numbers don't focus on the numbers too much like oh am i gonna lose subscribers or or my followers are gonna just stop you know being interested it's okay God is interested in you and that's honestly what's more important and I feel like another thing I've been lacking is if you guys notice is usually on Fridays I do talk about God and lately I haven't and I feel like that's my purpose so I kind of feel like all over the place yes I love my skits that's something that I've you know like I mentioned I've learned about myself while making videos is that that's a a gift of mine but also talking about God is and you know directing his people towards him and you know allowing so many lives to be saved through my knowledge because of his word definitely brings a lot of joy to me so when I lack certain things like the things that I'm supposed to do it kind of throws me off so just you know be patient with me and just know that I am a human being I'm not perfect just because I'm on a camera or I have social media platform doesn't mean I'm this perfect person I am a sinner I make mistakes so it's like I don't want to be seen as this holy person not a lot of people are and I feel like when you can admit that and you can accept that and want to change and allow God to come into your life to help you a lot of things will happen and you know sometimes you can't do it on your own you need the strength of God to help you and that's something I've been praying for for God to give me the strength to continue to go the strength to you know change to be a better person especially to please him so i want to encourage you guys to like you know be positive keep on going like i said this is my biggest point take a step back whenever something's happening in your life literally just breathe okay 
like his word god gives his toughest battles to his strongest soldiers i know that my situation is something that i can handle because god will not give it to me if i couldn't so it's like just believing look at that car <laughs> It's just like believing and having faith and trusting God. Even in your toughest times, when you're struggling, when you don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know where I'm gonna live. I have two weeks left. But I'm gonna have faith and just trusting God and know that no matter what happens, I'm gonna be good. So I definitely encourage you guys to lean on him. I encourage you guys to keep on going. Whatever you're dealing with, just keep working and pray. Pray, pray, pray. And I feel like when I when the days that I lack my prayer is the days I feel the worst. The days I feel less fulfilled. So I want you guys to just keep on going and trust in God. So that's basically where I've been in my my life right now. Um, is all over the world. <laughs> all over the world. Even my mouth is all over the world. <laughs> my life has been all over. But I am super grateful for everything that is happening. I believe that it's making me stronger. It's making me depend on God even more. He places the right people in my life at the right time. And I, I know that, I don't know what's gonna happen, but I know in faith that God has got me and he will never leave me. And that gives me so much joy. Even talking to you guys right now, I feel the, the peace that I've been praying for. And this is how I know that this is my purpose. When I talk to you guys, it kind of gives me that sense of peace as well. So I hope that you can find this video well and just know this is where I am. I am a human being. I'm not this perfect person. Only Jesus is perfect, but I am a child of God who is just trying to walk through faith and not by sight. You dig? <laughs> also, look, guys, I did some beads this morning, actually. But yeah, so I feel so calm. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me sing my let me sing my outro. Ready, city, go. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that post notification. Bell. It gives. It bell. It gives.